Moedim Simcha, Shabbat Shalom, Chag Sameach. I wish you a joyful final two days of Pesach, which of course is like every week on Shabbat. On Shabbat Pesach, we read selections, sometimes all of, Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs. One of only two, the other being Megillat Esther, which we read last month, one of only two Tzfarim, books of Tanakh that do not contain the name of God. Our rabbis in the Gemara, in the Talmud, asked, why should this even be included in the canon? Rabbi Akiva taught that it was not just holy, but Kodesh HaKodeshim, holy of holies. Why? In the 11th century, our brilliant commentator Rashi read the entire book of Song of Songs, which is a gorgeous romantic poem. I invite everyone to read the JPS or the Altar translation, if not the original Hebrew. He read it as an allegory of the love between God and the people Israel. More about the beauty of this love story on Shabbat. But I want to leave you with the thought of what would it mean for our peoples and our personal relationship to, with God to be inspired by the romantic love one might experience with a partner? What is the closeness? What is the longing? What are the expectations between us and God? I look forward to seeing you all this Shabbat, this Chag. Be well.